Alright, today I'm going to make this video for a subscriber of mine. I hope some others can use it too, if you don't know how. And the thing is, it's going to be about how to back up your files in Windows 7. And my subscriber said he didn't know how to do it or what it took to do it. Couldn't figure it out. And he was kind of worried about it because he's already beginning to get games and stuff on his computer and some other software he didn't want to lose well the one thing that you want to remember about backing up your files or what to do about it uh, if you come up and you've got a technician running a diagnostics like I did on this laptop right here and after running the diagnostics it comes up with a picture that looks like this that's telling you you got a bad hard drive See, message, hard drive, unsuccessful. That test was run about 10 times to come up with the same thing. Had to put a new hard drive in, and it worked fine, believe you me. But the point is, everything that was on that laptop was lost. All the yard sale pictures that this woman puts online, everything was lost, and... It like to broke her heart when it was so simple for her to do one thing. Go to the dollar store, go to Radio Shack, Walmart, anywhere, and just buy a $10 10 pack or 20 pack of Sony or some other decent brand of DVDs for about 10 bucks and get those DVDs are about 4.7 gigabytes. You can back up on them at least three times, each one. <clears throat> but uh, if, if your laptop or your desktop goes bad and you have to reinstall Windows again, you can put this disk in and put all your stuff back right where they was at before. Your pictures will go to your pictures. Your software will go to wherever they was. If there's not a directory on your new hard drive it'll make one and put it back in there it's so simple all you got to do is this click right here at start type in backup and in backup it's going to ask you if you want to create a restore point that's in system restore that would be my first choice that that's a good thing go in there and create a restore point on the day that you're doing this first and and then come back in type in backup again bring up to back up your computer but uh, you can restore data files or computer from backup that's where you go to back it back put it back in there but create a restore point say uh, system running good or whatever you want to call it are running great or uh, files okay and at that point you can always go back and and click on that and it'll put everything back just like it was at that point right there when you install new software most time it does that for it makes a restore point right there not always does it do that you get a virus it won't do that so right now we're going to go to back up your computer and right here, I've already done it once. I backed it up. Uh, mine, 7 1 2012. I've got it scheduled to do it once a month. You can schedule it, do it every day, once a month. That's why I do mine once a month. And all you got to do is say back up now. And if you do, it's going to tell you to put in a DVD or already have it in there ready to go. And it will back it up everything on your computer you can do a custom one where uh, if all you want to save is your pictures and maybe different folders but I let it do a complete backup and it'll be on that DVD and then when you come back up to back door you can say restore my files so uh, if you restore all users files that's what I got everybody's on this PC which I'm the only one but if there was more people on here if there was other users it would get theirs files too or you can uh, 
select other backup to restore this files from but you can use a system image but I like to just do it on the DVD it makes it much simpler so um, you can also get a system repair disk and if you do that click on that and you put a DVD in there what that's going to do is it's going to copy all the systems file you ever heard of a boot disk if for some reason your computer does not want to boot up to Windows, you click System Repair Disk right here. And this is going to create a disk. It will be a boot disk right on our My Backup Boot Disk. And if your computer don't want to boot up to Windows 7, put that in there and let it boot up to this disk. And it will uh, ask if you want to. United States, uh, English, you say yes, and go to that, and when it comes up to the picture, say install Windows, say repair, and when it goes in there, it will repair whatever's wrong with your computer, not letting it back up, so that's pretty simple too. Windows 7, to me, has everything that you could ever ask for, so these are just some of the tools that's built into Windows 7. We never did have with Windows XP, believe you me. Windows XP did a lot, but not as simple as Windows 7. So I hope this little uh, tutorial will help you. And leave me some comments. And and that'll help me make better videos. Uh, I, I enjoy all the comments. And if there's any other part of this, if you want to actually see me do a backup, I'll do that too. I, I, I don't have a problem with it. I can show you step by step. So, uh, till the next time, this is Shannon Doyle signing off.